All right, hello everybody, and welcome to some more Silent Hill. It's me, Sloth Lord, coming at you from the editing chair. Um, again, if you haven't, if you've seen the last couple of episodes, then you probably know what's up. But if you're just watching this series, I recorded my entire week's worth of footage without my mic being on. So now I am providing a new layer of commentary over that. So we're we're playing some Silent Hill 2. I don't know if I said that. And uh, we're walking around the apartment complex as James. Um, we kind of are lost at this point. Sloth has no idea what he's doing, so he's just kind of stumbling around. You see him looking at his map and a bunch of stuff. He's trying to figure out what's going on, and he has no clue. So eventually we'll, we'll be cutting to when... He, he finally figured something out. Yep, here we are. Um, he found the swimming pool area, and now he's trying to figure out what secrets it holds. And uh, just look at him wandering around, completely missing the thing that he's supposed to be looking for. I think he thinks he's looking around to get everything, but there's really only one item that we want here. And that's the snake coin that we just picked up. And now we're cutting again because boy is this guy lost he is so lost that i had to cut so much of this video which is good because at least you know that makes it easier to uh make it a smaller segment so that way i can read to you guys so he finally figured out what the the can of sodas were for um he's actually doing this by accident he doesn't know this is what he's actually supposed to do he just thinks and he he yep you see right here the look on his face says it all he uh completely surprised himself and he feels so good about it that you know whatever dude all right so he's still lost though like he has no idea where it is i had to cut so far ahead to when he finally finds it and here he is finding it right now and uh so he, he finds another coin and uh he, he's gonna stop and, and read all this um because he's not sure if uh it's relevant to the plot or not so that's going on um so yeah I have no idea who Walter Sullivan is. I don't know if that's supposed to mean anything. I mean, he's dead. But he has a spoon buried two inches into his neck. That's fun. Um, what's funny is uh, you guys don't get to hear me mispronounce carotid uh, like seven times in a row. That's something I remember struggling with. I don't know why I left all this in, actually. I, I I think it might be relevant, so I'm just kind of holding out that if it is, at least it's there for us to see. Wow, yeah, I didn't realize that there was so much reading in this segment. All right. So now we're finally actually making progress. We were trying to find this door for a while, and we finally found it, and here we are doing exactly that. Um, so let's just watch this uh, cutscene. Okay, so we are now in another apartment complex. Um, wow, why are you walking into a wall? What a dingus. This guy is such a dingus. From here, um, I think it mostly stays intact. I don't think I do much cutting at this point. Um, because now it's me like starting to figure out 
uh, generally where things are. I think there's like maybe one or two more cuts in this uh, segment. So um, now we're just kind of watching real time me playing and trying to figure stuff out. Um, okay, here's here's where the cut is. I was struggling so hard with this save, so I think I will be cutting a large portion of that. So, yeah. I'm, I'm trying to find the... Oh, God. I'm reaching into another... I forgot about this already. James, stop sticking your hand in stuff, dude. Look at that face. Look at... That's the face of... I agree with him on one thing, and that this is nasty. Disgusting. We found a wallet in the toilet. But there's a... There's the code for the safe that we found in a toilet. A nasty, suspiciously brown toilet. He's already forgotten where the safe was. There it is. And now he's going to stumble with this for a while. So uh, I think we'll be cutting here soon. There we go. It was subtle, but it happened. And we got a bunch of handgun bullets. Now, I don't think Sloth quite realized uh, the implications that getting that many bullets should have. I think he was just like, oh, cool bullets. But clearly, that's a, a huge red flag for a boss battle coming up at some point so he's not expecting it like at all it's not in this episode I'll go ahead and spoil that um, so now I think he's just kind of going until he reaches a uh, a save point that's kind of the goal here So we'll just keep watching and see what he does. I'm pretty sure he just missed a map. Yeah, he missed the map. What a dingus. And now he's looking at... The, he's looking to see... He's like, oh, I don't have a map. Where's the map? You walked by it, bud. You missed it. You done goofed. Now he's going in here. This is kind of weird to react to my videos like this. It's definitely something I don't want to do ever again. I, I hate these little chirping bugs. Like, they make me so angry. There's a leggy blonde. Without the blonde part. This isn't the most eventful episode, I will admit, but it's still... There are things that I've obtained throughout it that are crucial to uh, kind of knowing where we're at. Alright, so now we're at this puzzle that requires three coins. We have two of those. Um, so we're trying to figure this out. So I believe in the next episode is where we will go find the third coin. There's a, a riddle that accompanies this. But yeah, that is basically it for this episode because the save's just right in this room. So thank you all so much for watching. Sorry that it's like this. I'm very disappointed in myself and uh, also myself. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. I'm Slothlord, and I will see you all next time.